When I was nine, I uh, found out I had a brain tumor on my optic chiasm, which is where the optic nerve splits to go to the back of each eye. Uh, I uh, had brain surgery, later I had radiation therapy, and uh, it went from the size of a small lemon to now a grain of rice. Um, it's still there, but then uh, with that I lost my vision. I, um, at first after the brain surgery, had no vision, just complete lack of, and it's not black, but kind of. Um, and then I finally, uh, slowly, very slowly started to gain vision. Even now it's still changing and adapting and increasing in different ways. I just got so much more creative. I had to because we didn't know anyone around us, around my family and I, that had ever had any vision problems. There was no one else in Lawrence for years and, until then that had had any blindness in our district. And uh, for about 15 years before me, it was the most recent one. And so I just had to really learn to change thing, my surroundings to fit me. Lawrence Workforce Center will help with um, kind of getting into the whole system of the computer system here, uh, which can help you build a resume, it can help you find jobs, it can help you uh, find people to do a job that you're hiring for. It can, uh, it can do many different things. The Workforce Center itself will help with all those things, building a resume, um, making sure you have the right kind of uh, attitude or, or mindset for whatever position or type of job you're looking into. Um, and then really just helping you through the whole process, finding that job and trying to stick with it. I really, really enjoy just helping people in different, many different ways. Uh, I really enjoy this place. It's, I wish I could work here. I hope to really find something that's my position, my, my kind of uh, oh, creativity and math skills and, uh, and just innovation. I would love to use those in something and I'm getting a lot of help already from the Workforce Center here and uh, just having a lot, of, a lot of good communication between everyone. Everyone's got a great sense of humor. As soon as I started telling blind jokes, they all jumped in and um, I just love humor. So, and then uh, I've gotten tons of help from everyone. Uh, I have had just immense, immense help from everyone doing anything they can, whether that's helping me find the right spot to braille label the phone or just practicing answering the phone or answering questions, learning different things. If you ever, if you are disabled or if you know someone who is, or if you just ever run into someone, you know, you're, you're in a store shopping and you pass by someone who can't see or is in a wheelchair or anything, think about them as a person first. They are not, I am not disabled Matt. I am Matt. I am creative. I do enjoy music. Way down that list that describes me, somewhere is disabled. But it is not first. I am a person first. I am disabled. Later. Matt receives support from Independence Inc. in Lawrence, Kansas. Renita Wilkes spoke with us about the mission of Independence and some of the help they can provide to Kansans living with disabilities. The mission of Independence Inc. is to help people with disabilities, all disabilities, maximize their independence. So to be able to live in the communities of their choice um, to the best of their abilities. So our, our role is to serve as an advocacy in our communities to make sure it is accessible to all of its citizens. He is um, someone who has had a lot of different health problems and a lot of different things have happened to him over his life. He's lost his sight over time, but he's not a negative person. He always looks at the positive things in life. He doesn't see himself as not able to do things, but very capable of many things in life. 
and also teaching that to other people that limitations don't define you that you can go forward and if you're just determined you can make anything happen for yourself I think what people should should understand is that people are people um, no matter where we're from or what we look like we all want the basic things of life is to be included in our communities and to same have the same opportunities as anyone else and be given an equal chance to try first thing they do is just give us a call or either check out our website at independentsync.org but just give us a call at 785-841-0333 and one of us will help them you know um, get connected with us they can always drop in and have a visit and see us and we'd be happy to tell them about the services we provide